A couple of days ago I did a video on how to download the PS Remote Play software and follow the instructions on the download page to install PS Remote Play on your PlayStation 5. And um, details of software called Rewazda, um, which allows you to map the Lenovo Legion Go controller as if it was a PlayStation 5 controller, which allows you to sort of play on the console itself, not with a, 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 a real PlayStation 5 controller connected via USB-C. Much better way of playing it. One of the problems I encountered was that the touchpad on a PlayStation 5 um, wasn't mapped in Rewazd. Um, and I was playing The Last of Us and it came to a point where I was meant to open up my bag and that was mapped to touchpad click and I couldn't do it. Um, I was playing the game Returnal and there's a point there where you have to press um, your you know, click the touchpad to open something and I couldn't do it. So I was looking for how to do that in Rewazd and finally found a way of doing that. But I should say that it's only available in the licensed version of Rewazd, um, which isn't expensive. It's seven euros plus sales tax. Um, and it's really easy to do, but you know, if you don't want to pay, if you don't want to pay that and you have a DualSense controller, just plug it in via USB. Uh, and you'll be good to go. Um, so the other thing I want to show, um, if I start up, oh sorry, the, the other thing I wanted to show was um, when we start up PS Remote Play on this device, um, it, it starts in a window, um, which is fine, but we'll generally want to play in full screen. Now, because of the Len Lenovo's 16-10 ratio screen, what was happening was when you maximized um, the page, in fact, if I do it now, maybe it will show. Yes, if, if you see just up at the top here, it sort of mirrors a uh, the pixels at the top there. And, when, you know, it stays there, that bit's static. And when you're moving into white, white scenes with snow in it and everything, you can still see that. So I looked at two solutions for this. One was a custom resolution um, of 1080p, but because the screen is actually a 1610, it kind of stretched the image up a little bit and didn't look that good. You probably could have got used to it. But then, um, sneaky side of my brain, thought of a really simple solution. And I'll sh uh, basically, it relies on games on uh, the PlayStation 5, and in indeed games in general, when you start them, tend to have like the the developers sort of logos on a black screen, or you know, or perhaps it's the Navi uh, Nvidia drivers and it has the Nvidia logo and a black screen. So if you wait, um, so if you bring it back down out of windowed mode, you click on play game. No, you don't click on it because it's on your PlayStation Five. So you use your controllers and you trigger the play game. That's if you're smart, not like me. Ah, so before, so um, it's going to change to a black screen. And the second it does, boom, I'm going to full screen it. So that just means we've got permanent black pixels at that top edge. So n doesn't get in the ga uh, way of the game at all. Now I'm not going to show gameplay because I did try this earlier. I've, this is about the fourth attempt and my network is, is playing up and I put it onto 5G and that wasn't running smoothly. The second I go to make a video, we're going to go to, to do a demo, things break. It's just the way things are, I guess. Oh, 
And we've got the sound down. Okay, so we're in the game. Um, what I did in ReWasD is I mapped this down arrow to the touchpad click. So if, if I was playing this on controller and I pressed the touchpad, it would pop up this journal. Um, I think it might open a bag if you're out and about. So just to prove that that works, I press the button and it does the journal. So if I close that again, what I'll do is um, I'll show you in ReWasd, no, I'll show you in ReWasd how I change that. So this is the button that I mapped it to. So all you do is you click on the button you want to remap. Now by default, these are all sort of highlighted, but to make it easy, uh, you know, you would if if it was like that, you would have pages and pages of possible options to choose from. You know, there it's like I've got the keyboard number zero. You know, so so to make it easier to find the one that you actually want, I would just deselect these, and we know we want some action that's on the PlayStation controller itself. So we've now got a much shorter list, um, and you know here the ones that have this sort of. Sorry, my fat fingers are not cooperating. Wow. There we go. So the ones that have that sort of square effect around them relate to the trackpad. So. Um, and also, I guess, swipe up, swipe down, swipe left, swipe right. Um, left tap, right tap, center tap. Um, I imagine it would be difficult to map all these onto the console, console buttons and still have proper functionality. But most games I've been playing, all we really want is the click. So to prove that, you know, if I change this, it'll be fine. If I go up, I'll, I'll change this mapping now to the options button. I then would save the change and then I would apply to slot one. Okay, so that's now gone up, I guess been uploaded. And if I go back to the game and if I press that down arrow again, it should now pop up the options screen. So that's how you remap and I'll just put it back um, and just prove that putting it back. So, boom, and uh, we want, we want click. Click, once again, save, apply to slot. And if I go back into the game, we have the journal again. So I think that's all I wanted to show you. Um, it's it's down to you, I guess, if you if if you think it's worth um, seven euros plus tax to be able to do that. I think uh, it would. I I I paid for it, obviously. I think it's worth it because just not having to carry around a PlayStation Five controller when you're out and about, as well as everything else, just makes it worth it for me. Um, I would say if it started getting to a game where it used a lot of trackpad functionality, like swipe left, swipe right, light right, click in the top left, top you know, top right, bottom left, I would probably take a controller and try and come up with a mapping. Um, anyway, I've gone on long enough. Thank you for watching.